How are you? Oh, very good. So you came to Australia from South Africa. That's correct, yep. So tell me why you chose to go halfway around the world. <laughs> it's first of all for our sons, our boys, to get a better education, to get an international passport and the safe country. Australian, Australia is such a safe country. Unfortunately, we love South Africa, but just with all the crime you've been, we've been through, Two hijackings, one arm robbery, it's just when you read that, when that happens to you, you realise you have to do something and look at other venues here. Mm. So why Australia? It's quite similar to South Africa in a way that the climate, the people, friendly people, um, just opportunities. I've been travelling to America, to Europe, um, and we just felt Australia was home. So, was it hard to get a visa and all that stuff? No, it's not. For me, for us, it was not because um, I'm a chartered accountant. Mm -hmm. So, it was easy to come over with my skills. What was hard is we had a boy with cerebral palsy and that has caused some significant medical obstacles that we had to overcome. Mm -hmm. But once that was done, it was the process we actually got our PR quite within six months, okay. yeah. Okay. So 10 years ago, 2009, I take it. 2010, January. Yep. January 2010, so yep. almost 10 years. Yep. And you arrived with a suitcase. Did you have a husband? Got two boys? Yes, I do. <laughs> he's, <laughs> yes. he's, he's not on that sheet there. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah. Uh, husband, two boys, and yep. one of them has cerebral palsy. That's good. Yeah. And... Oh, I keep flipping too far. There we go. It's got it. Um, and a suitcase and five grand. Yeah. 50 grand, beg your pardon. Oh, no, five grand Australian. Yeah. yeah. It was 50,000 Australian rand. Um, oh, sorry, South African rands, but 5,000 Australian dollars. Yeah. That's not a lot to start with. No, it's not. <laughs> Did you have a job? We actually came over with no jobs. We just knew that we've got our PR, we've got our qualifications, and we said, well, that's it. We've got a draft determination. We actually didn't care whether we're going to scrap floors or whether we're going to sell some shoes. Whatever it would have taken us, we would have done that. Okay. So how did you find I Love Real Estate and when did you find I Love Real Estate? Um, within the next, the first couple of months as we settled in, mm -hmm. um, I think it was just through social media. We start looking at, we've always been into property in South Africa. We start looking at what opportunities, what education is here. Mm -hmm. And we actually discovered the PNAF. And um, I remember one of the things that we wanted to understand was the tax structures, the process. Well, you, you got that in loads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just the process about um, how does it work in a different country. Yeah. And, yeah Very important. What, yeah. So you got the peg in the sand there. Yeah. Um, what was your peg in the sand back then? What did you just say, that's what I want, that's what I'm going for? Um, I remember we've attended the three day course and the biggest thing for us was, for me, that was really resonant from all your stuff was, you have to put your pick in the sand. And for us was, well, cash flow properties, generate some income and also building up an investment portfolio. Mm -hmm. Those was the two big in the sand. No figures in there? No, no idea of what that meant for you? No, no, no. You let us make some use <laughs> that we need to put some figures. Um, and um, I think at that stage it was like you started out and you didn't really, you didn't really, I didn't have a full um, grasp on what this figure is going to mean. Um, but we did say, you know, what, in, we hopefully that in five years' time we can at least have $2 million of properties and, yeah, take okay. it from there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, first deal, Renault deal. Yeah. How did you get into it? It was in Monaval. Um, we didn't have the money, so I got 100% loan from, a, from Investec Bank, Bank of Queensland now. We got our first Amanus grant. At that stage, it was $7,000. We used that to pay for our legals, and our stamp duty was for free. And, um, yeah, we scraped a little bit of money together to do mm -hmm. the renovation. Um, I did found a job in between, so that was after we did the renovation, after obviously I started on a job. And yeah, that's how we did it. And you made and, 20 grand. And we've done, yeah, we've made 20,000 out of it. Okay. So you got four times what you started with. 
<laughs> That's good, Ed, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the first time as grant, which is seven grand along yeah. the way. Okay, so second deal, you decide let's do a subdivision. Yeah. Now, this is a JV. Where did you meet your JV partner? Uh, we've met it at one of the property events, at another property event that I've attended, and I've met Serena, and mm -hmm. yes, we decided we just clicked from day one, and mm -hmm. we've decided to do a deal together. Okay. So, it's a, a subdivision into how many? Into eight, eight lots. lots. Yeah. Eight lots. Okay. Now, uh, took 18 months to do that. That's a reasonably big subdivision to launch into on your second deal with no experience. We did have experience in South Africa, so okay. we had some, we've been All in right. property in South right. Africa, so it was just I'm the happier. prices, it was different. Yeah. I'm happier. Yeah. I'm which, happier. which is reflected in the fact that you only are in the country for about three months. Most yeah. people are settling, finding schools, you know, all that. <laughs> You're into how do I get educated yeah. in this country on That's the property. True. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah. So you took 18 months with that one. Um, the profit on that was, you know, no, that was a different one. How much money did you make on this one? Um, Yep. So if you just flip over, so the so, purchase. So this is the deal that keeps on giving, and you will see this. There is with all of Susan's deals. There's multiple layers to it. So okay. Yeah. So what happened here then? You got a sale of five lots, five of the eight. Yeah. So we right. sold five of the lots. Then um, Serena, our partner, has kept one lot. Mm -hmm. We then kept two lots. Um, the one was just an empty stand that we've recently just finished off a dual key. Mm -hmm. And the other one, as part of the development, we constructed the duplex. Mm -hmm. And I kept the duplex. Okay. Which yep. we're going to see those slides in a sec. Okay. Yep. Very good. All right. So deal number two, this was the, the land that you kept? Yes. Correct. So, like I said, I just recently has finished the dual key. Mm -hmm. um, so, and has actually put tenants in both of them, which is really good. The land value that we um, that we sold it for, it wasn't um, the cost was 136,000. Construction cost on the Duki was about 200. It's been recently valued at 650,000, and mm -hmm. our equity in the deal was 314. And cash flow, net cash flow, is 30,000 per year. So well and truly able to keep it. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Which is which That's is the end goal, goal with yeah, all your yeah, properties. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and 11,000 on the duplex. Yep, correct, 100%. Yep. Fantastic, okay. So your third deal then is a townhouse development. Yep. We don't go small, do we? <laughs> 159 townhouses. Yeah. <laughs> But saying that, we've done it, uh, we're going to do it over five stages and it's still work in progress. Can I ask you a question here? Because yeah. something here that doesn't marry up for me. Yeah. Right? Big deal. Yep. You yeah. say, it's okay, I've done it in South Africa. Yeah. Why did you only come across with five grand? We, so, no, so because we had a lot of expenses on our, on our um, boy and we had some commitments, we wanted to basically clear most of our debt in South Africa. Okay. So that's why. So net cash we came over was about 5,000. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and it would have cost a lot to move as well and all of those other things, I suppose. So, yeah. So your money that you made in South Africa has gone in clearing the bills, paying medical expenses. Yeah. And... Um, getting yourself over here. Yeah, That's 100%. why it was five grand. Yeah. All right, I'm happy now. Just yeah. the numbers didn't kind of work out. <laughs> All right. So um, we're into 159. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yes. Plus a retail centre with 11 apartments on top of that. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so an extended settlement, um, 12 months. What did you get done in that 12 months? We basically got our DA through that period mm -hmm. um, and the operational works that we had to complete. That was our main focus just during that period. It was rural zoned. Mm -hmm. So we had to first do a relocate um, a ROL, reconfigure of a lot. Yep. And we also have to do the, um, the MCU yep. on this and then divide that into the five stages, did a lot of work and yeah. a lot of preparation work. So that was our first 12 months effectively. And a fair amount of money would have gone into gaining that DA to that stage, because that's a lot of money, that's a lot of consultants to get to that stage. That's correct, yes, yeah. 100%. Yep. Yep. And you're also pre-selling as well, as we'll see. Not at that stage. At that stage, literally, we just acquired the land. And we literally had started with all the operational works and the DA approvals, yeah. Okay, so the five stages, the first stage, 
you had to then sell 26. So the stage one and stage two, it's 26 townhouses and the manager's house that we had. And mm -hmm. we basically um, sold um, most, well, it's all been sold and under contract and been settled. Um, this um, free that basically will settle next week um, and then it's all completed. Our first two stages. Stage 2B is under construction. We got trusses up and those will be completed in the next four to five months. Okay, are they sold? Pre -sold? We, um, we sold 12 unconditional contracts mm -hmm. out of the 18, yes. Okay, good. So, yep. I mean, you've well and truly covered your cost at this stage. You know, yes. you, you, you're in the money now yep. Um, yep. just because of the sheer size of it. And stage yep. three, you've started the civils on. Yes, correct. Yep. Okay, good. So, there are the figures um, for, what, the first 26? Plus the manager's house, that's 27, with including the manager's house. 1.6 yep. mil profit. Yep. Of which 50% is ours. We got a JV partner on this. Okay. So 50%, and what we did is that 50%, we literally just reinvest into the other stages. Sure, yep. sure, sure, sure. Yep. Neutral cash flow on the three that you're keeping? Yep. All right. So when this is all finished, you've got their 172 units. Yep. You gained a few. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Profit, 18 million. Yep. How do you feel about that? That's massive, <laughs> and it's still work in progress, so it, it feels like a little, well, I think now that we finish our first 27, we start seeing the money coming in, it's really becoming a lot more realistic for mm -hmm. us, mm. and um, yeah, I think it's our, we will be finished in, in 24 months with the whole project, right. and it's becoming a lot more tangible now, mm. yep. Hmm. So, you, you said you're going to keep 10 of the townhouses, which is fine, yep. and there's a retail centre with 11 apartments, so some of that money, that profit, is actually sitting in those properties, yes? That's correct, yes, yeah. 100%. Okay. Yeah. And you kept the management rights, which is smart. Yeah, so we basically decided to keep the management rights and to keep the rental role. We've also done an embedded network system. Mm. on the townhouses, mm. so we will have electricity income f in perpetuity. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. So you control the grid, you control the rentals. Yeah. Um, you own the, the, the residence there. Do you live there? No, we don't. No. Okay. So you've got managers in place? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So they're on salary, so you're getting business, you're getting a, a business income from the management rights as yep. well as the profit from the development. Yep. Good day. Very good. Something I want to point out there is 150 grand in income from the solar. So, and, and the ownership of that into perpetuity. Now, obviously, with solar, there is maintenance, there's other things along the way. So, it's not all income. Yep. Initially, it will be. But, you know, into perpetuity, that's, that's massive. You know, the value, the net present value of that income stream is, is significant. Yep, that's true. Well done. Did I say that these are the deals that keep on giving? <laughs> <laughs> so deal number four. Yeah, we've stayed two years at Sunshine Beach and we've always been in the area and just have a look at what's available. And we come about April 2017 before we massive boom happened on the Sunshine Beach or coast. We found a little duplex, just the one, mm -hmm. and then um, we bought that for 400 plus the cost 445. We did a small arena on it, literally just got the whole place. Um, inside <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> you did a small renovation, literally we just gutted the whole place. <laughs> Poles apart here, girl. <laughs> versus, versus 172, that's still small. Yeah, so we did 65. The market value currently um, 695,000. I just, um, and this is real valuations from valuers. It's mm -hmm. not from a real estate agents. Yep. So our equity in it's about 185,000. We mm -hmm. Airbnb this completely. Um, and that gives us a net cash flow of about 35,000 per year. Well done, well done. Okay, deal number five. <laughs> yeah. So we're starting to look for offices for ourselves, and um, I realised that at this stage... So you're not working as an accountant now? 
No, yeah, no, 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 long, <laughs> no, no, I stopped about five years ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking for offices for ourselves, but because that cabin is such a big deal, I've actually realized I can't do it on, my, on myself, and I have to get other people involved. Yep. So, I've been looking into Fortunate Valley, into Brisbane, because I've realized that it's such an upcoming area, and it's really starting to turn around. So um, I did a JV with the landlord where it was a building that was literally standing empty. It was six years by Chinese people and it burned down. Um, it was lit, you can see from the pictures, it's just the ruins that's there. And um, we basically got a JV where we came in, we did the fit out, the office um, and the office fit out. And I've turned it into a co-working space for um, innovative companies, so into blockchain, AI, anyone that's in new technology, securitizations of tokens, that's what we, we do. So I share the space with them. I actually lease out all the um, two offices that's interested in that space. Mm -hmm. Very good. And the cash flow on that's about 120 grand a year, positive. Yep. And you own that with another JV partner. Yep, correct. I don't physically own the building. It's just basically I've got a license agreement in place between okay. me and the owner. Yeah. Okay, all right. And you put in for the renovation and the fit-out work, so that cash is sitting in the deal as equity you've got. Yep. So if it ever gets sold, then you'll get your cash back out, but in between you're making the income. Yep, yep. correct. Okay, so deal number six. This looks rather large too. <laughs> this is fresh off the press, and if everything goes well, I'll be able to settle on it next week because I've got unconditional finance from NAB for this. Good. Um, it's in Noosa, in the junction. Um, currently, it's just a single level um, where it is the Barton's Fruit Shop, the Lexus English School, and they've got an IK system in, so they've got three tenancies in there. That's got a net cash flow, sorry, a net rental income without um, landlord tax of 392,000, but after land tax is 236,000 per year. Purchase cost is six million. Now the um, the NUSA Council is the first time going through a change planning scheme, mm. and they will allow actually developments to happen in NUSA. Junction, we'll probably we not will probably we will be the first one in 40 years to come in and do a development. Mm. Um, so what it will be, we will have organic market, restaurants at the bottom, then education and incubator for all new um, startups, and then the third level will be student accommodation and short-term accommodation because there's such a shortage there in is. Nusa. Yeah. There is. Mm. So some figures on that one. I haven't put it in because it's literally fresh off the, <laughs> off the press. I do got some detailed feasibilities and calculations on that. Um, but What's I haven't. In at? Sorry. What's it coming in at, roughly? In terms of cash flow? Or, Both. Um, I think cash flow, my net cash flow will increase to about 750000 per year when we complete it with everything, provided mm -hmm. that we would be able to keep most of that. Mm. Um, and uh, um, and that's the intention. Uh, we want to try and keep as much of that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So more important things than property. Have you got time for anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I think the most important for me is just I could never have done this without my partner, my Lynn. He's been, like you said, Dipna, you know, if you don't have the support behind you, if you don't have somebody that's going through thick and thin with you, that stands with you, it's, um, it's really sometimes it's long hours, a lot of sacrifices, and it takes a lot of determination, guts, and willpower. It does. And also for the I Love Real Estate community. I mean, if it's not for being able to do JV partners with the community, I would not be able to do this on my own. There's just no ways to do that. Yeah. Mm. But you've done very well. So your final figures, if we look at them, and I know this is a little bit small and a little bit harder to read, but we're starting with um, a start position of 5K. I mean, that's what we started with 10 years ago. Yeah. And um, the, uh, the portfolio now, I can't read those figures. So the personal investment portfolio is yeah. the held properties, so positive cash flow of... 
432. And 1.3 almost in equity. Yep. yep. Oh, and that's the uplift. The value of 9 million. Yep. 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 And then the, from doing the development, the actual development profit, just from the first stage is, and, and just your half, yep. is then the, just over the 800,000. 906, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that, yep, that's right. Yep. And then the future stages of yep. the townhouse development, then... Which is, is all locked in. It's just going through the process. And it's already yeah. mostly yeah. pre-sold by the yeah. sounds of things. Yeah. It's nine million. It's the nine mil. Mm -hmm. Then we move on to the business incomes that are associated also with that. Uh, so the, the property management and then the management rights. And then the solar. So, so, yep. yep, the solar. So on the business income, this is just as we are currently. So mm -hmm. it's not what it's going to be in the future, but this is as is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because we saw before it was going to be the solar when it's all finished will be West about 150. 150. Yeah. They were up to 40 at the moment because the deal's not completely finished. Yep. Correct. Yep. Is that inspiring? <laughs> if that doesn't inspire you, <laughs> nothing's going to inspire you. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to say? No, I think just unbelievable the support out of the community and be part of this. This is really good, yeah. Yeah, well, good on you, Del. You've done well. Good, thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Where's this gorgeous husband of yours? There he is. There he is. Oh, come stand up. So we come can. on, stand up. You should be up here. Come on, come up here too. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do this alone. You know, no one's an island. It, it, it takes... It, it takes more than that, and you should be up here too because, you know, it is that support, regardless of who's the driver, it's that amazing support, and, you know, <laughs> we're very pl proud to have you guys in Aww, here too. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> proud to have you in Australia. <laughs> we want Aussies like you. So, congratulations, guys. Thanks. You've done very well, and, it, it, you know, to both of you, and keep doing the, the good work. Okay, good. good on you. Thanks, Del.